Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of The Cord. Now it was Rudolf Schenke who decided to form a band. Remember they came from a time when the war was just over, they had nothing else to do. Studies of course was an important part, building up the nation was important, Germany looking forward to doing things which well the war completely devastated. But then their parents really supported them and they said they want to become musicians and that's what they did, they trained to become some. Now, it was in 1970 that Rudolf Schenke decided to form the band called Scorpions. Back then there was no support for music in Germany. But slowly they got the right people to come together. Michael Schenke, his younger brother, was already a talented guitarist. From then on his good friend Klaus Main came and then eventually Scorpions was born. In 1972, Lonesome Crow was the album that came out from the stable of Scorpions. Remember, this was just the first album that they came out with. They didn't really go right across Europe, but in Germany, Lonesome Crow became a big hit. Songs from the album were taken and made into a movie as well, or used as a soundtrack for a movie. But then they were looking to do better and bigger things. They decided to start touring Europe. Now, this is one thing that happens when siblings come together. You find that there's a lot of fight going on between them. Well, it happens in bands like Oasis as well. But then this really started to show in this one band called Scorpions when Michael Schenker, the younger brother, knew he was a better guitarist than his elder brother and everybody else also could actually see that on stage. It was when the band UFO from England came on and took him on and said, listen, I think you should play with us. Michael Schenker decided to leave Rudolf Schenker's band called Scorpions and join UFO, who came in Uli Roth. And four albums after that, in trance as well, was done with Uli Roth. The funny part about the band Scorpions is the fact that when Uli Roth came and joined the band, four albums that they did, including In Trance, did not get any traction in Europe at all. In the United States, they were big failures. But it started becoming a hit in places like Japan and it did not really make sense to anybody at that point of time as to why it was a big hit in Japan. Well, apparently they love Scorpions so much that all these albums that they had, all four of them with Uli Roth went platinum. Eventually they went to Japan to perform and got mobbed because they didn't realize that they were so big in Japan. They then came out with Tokyo Tapes, which was again a big hit and only in Japan. Now after a long time playing with the UFO, it was now the time for Michael Schenke to decide what he wanted to do because he was getting bored with what the kind of output that was coming. So he decided to do one thing, go and approach his brother Rudolf and ask if he could get back to the band again. After all, his best friend was there, Klaus Main. And exactly what happened, Michael Schenker came and joined the band again. Unfortunately, that what happened to Michael was the fact that he had so much of traction and he became so famous so fast that all the fame went to him. And suddenly when he came back to the band Scorpions, he realized the Scorpions had become bigger than him. And nobody was really paying attention to his guitar playing anymore, even though they were taking a lot of interest in why Scorpions was going as a band and not it was not about Michael Schenke anymore. This affected him even more and he went to alcoholism. To such a state that sometimes he would not even show up to even play his songs. So what would happen? Eventually, Scorpions realized instead of throwing him out to the band, let's do one thing, let's get somebody else. And that's how Matthias came on board. They went and decided to make one more album, but I'll talk about that after you watch this song. Now it'll be the first time the Scorpions really got hit with a major, major label and then they realized, okay, this is what they can do is now make an album that can go global. So they decided to do one thing, make a really, really good album and Love Drive was the one that came about. Unfortunately for them, they got such a shock when the United States actually banned the album because of the way the label looked. It was apparently very sexually explicit. A place like America and banning it because of that, well, it didn't make sense. Everywhere else, it became platinum. But the next album that came on, Animal Magnetism, had everything going for it and they went platinum in America. Decided to tour and now they had attacked the states. It was only a question of them to go back to Europe and become kings. And there, from then, nothing was there to stop them. But what really happened to the Scorpions? Well, there's another tale, a sting that takes place. We'll talk about that more when you come back. Now, there was a big tragedy that happened while uh, Scorpions was trying to make the third album. And what really happened was that Klaus Main suddenly, while he was practicing for some of the songs, lost his vocal cords. So basically, he couldn't sing at all. So they don't know what to do. The rumors went that he was going to be thrown out of the band and Dokken was going to come in. Don Dokken did come and do a little bit of singing for them, but nothing really major took place. But the band stood by Klaus Main, made sure he got his operations right and then he started practicing. A miracle happened. Klaus Main came back with such a powerful voice that it really shocked everybody else. Nobody realized that he was going to become even better than what he really was. The operation was a success. He was healed and he became even better. People are going to now listen to songs like they would never listen to before because they never thought that Klaus Main had a vocal range like that before. Talking about songs like Winds of Change. Well, that's just a little bit of the Scorpions. We'll come to the end of this episode. We'll be talking about the Scorpions. Catch me next week. Same place, same time. Only on the Cod. Only on Rosebow.